This is a keyboard. Well, not exactly. Let me explain. This is actually a part of the keyboard known as a keyboard plate. And today we are going to be building, as you guys can tell in the video, a keyboard using the EpoMaker TH66. So let's get right into it. So this is the TH66 from EpoMaker. And as you open up the box, you are greeted with the quick start guide. Nothing too fancy, just outlines what the keyboard comes with and its features, which I'll get onto in a second. You will then see the keyboard itself, which is encased within some plastic, which I have to say, took longer than I am willing to admit to you that. But we eventually get there, and here is the keyboard itself. It features a volume control knob on the top right, south facing LEDs for most of the board except the top row, Bluetooth 5GHz or wireless 2.4GHz connectivity, plate mounted stabs, and some pre lube stabilizers. But enough of the board, I'm definitely not going to be able to procrastinate with this board being like this. So, in order to fulfill my instant gratification needs, I'll need to get some other things. So, let's start with some switches. For my choice of switches, I'll be using some Gazio Boba U4Ts that I got from the site SplitKV. I'm not sponsored, but I figured I'd give them a shout out because they gave me a free snack. Also by chance, I didn't know about the one quirk, but there's an LED on the top left of the board on the number 1 key that does stick out and can be incompatible with some cherry switches. So ensure your switch housings have this free space to allow for this LED to go through, such as in Gadaron Pros, Gazi Bobas, and Hoi Pandas. And just in case you guys were wondering, here's what the switches sound like, just on its own. So now, let's get these switches installed. Next, let's move on to our choice of keycaps. For these, I chose some cool looking Amazon ones since I wanted an aesthetic design and a color scheme that I liked. And by the way, if you are interested in any of the things I have in this video, there are affiliate links in the description that help out the channel with no extra cost to you. And while you're down there, why not drop a like for the build so far. So I went with some DICE sublimated PBT keycaps, all that yada yada stuff, in an XDA profile, as I prefer the low profile and rounded look of the keycaps. So let's install them and see how they look. Now this turned out amazing, my only concern was the right shift key was being too big for my case and it wasn't able to fit in so I had to make use of one of these other picture keycaps that was a bit bigger than the standard size keycaps for the rest of the board. A little inconvenient but we moved. Now that our keyboard is built, I think it's time for a little sound test. Honestly, I think it sounded so much better than I thought it would. I think though, that with a little bit of mods and a little bit of lube, that this keyboard would definitely sound so much better. But right now, personally, I'm very happy with how it's turned out so far. And honestly, right now, I'm not looking to overinvest in this hobby right now. I am just seeing it for what it is, a hobby that I'm just starting out on. Although, I do kind of wonder what it would sound like. Maybe it would be better. <laughs> 